I don't need to tell you about the visitors, but Hoffenheim, uh, minus 123, looks like another don't complicate. You could go Hoffenheim and Werder in a parlay. Kern, a plus 335, no thank you. Uh, Kern to score twice uh, is plus 182, no thank you. Um, under or over three goals at minus 105. Kern, don't let in loads of goals. So... Stint, you can go first here because I've got this only home side winning and that's a fade against Kern. But it's also Hoffenheim do, do uh, finish off their good work. But I'm thinking it's there's not four goals in this game though. Yeah, I, I want to continue. I mean, it's no surprise. I want to continue to oppose Kelowna. I spoke about them uh, a lot. Obviously, they, they won last weekend, sec- uh, third victory of the season. But it was against nine men. And that, that's kind of been the story of their season in terms of victories. Uh, the other two games, they were they won against Gladbach 3-1. Uh, that was 10-man Gladbach. They had given two penalties in that one as well. And then their third victory was away against bottom side Darmstadt. So, um, yeah, just want to continue to oppose them. You know, we talk about Bundesliga, but Cologne have only scored 14 goals in 20 games. You know, the Bundesliga is goal heavy, like to average well less than one goal a game is, is, a, is a poor return. So I think Hoffenheim could win this with, with maybe just scoring once. Um, it might not. It might not need more than one goal from from Hoffenheim um, themselves. Hoffenheim aren't in great form. You know, they haven't won in the in their last six, and they've conceded two or more goals in five of those games. However, I think there's a there there is um, some some sort of uh, train of thought that that it's a bit of a bad luck. Um, two of those games were against Bayern and Leipzig. And the the other four, they drew three of them, um, but they they um, convincingly um, created a lot more uh, chances than both the other opposition. Um, and when you look at them overall for the season to date, they're, they're a top six team when it comes to creating chances. And you know, you just look at the reverse fixture. Uh, I think it could be something similar. They they won the reverse fixture three one, and they're three 0 up before the before the hour mark. Uh, I think. I would. I think two goals definitely. They definitely win the game, Hoffenheim, which is minus one forty-five. One goal might even be enough. So I'm very happy to back Hoffenheim at minus one twenty-three. I bet you are, because Kern, honestly, you, the, you have you add up the amount of chances they've created, and I mean proper chances in the last three four weeks. You still don't think there's an XG, and I'm using your little XGs now, uh, audience, <laughs> of one. They're honestly, even if they score, you think, oh, where's that come from, Alex? Yeah, um, I don't know exactly where. <laughs> I know that Köln is very poor on the road. Uh, Stinch talked about the 14 goals that they scored all season long, and only five of them came on the road in 10 games. And they conceded uh, an average of almost two goals on the road all season long. So, yeah, I think that the only thing that you can do right now uh, is to fade them. Don't look at uh, what happened last week. Also, uh, Stinch, Stinch pointed out that. Uh, Eintracht uh, uh, played with uh, nine uh, players uh, and, uh, okay, let's say that after the first red card, uh, uh, Köln scored the first goal and after that, the second goal and the red card. So, uh, yeah, that that result is not important when predicting Köln mostly on the road. I still think that they are a very bad team right now. Um, you can see that under 1.5 goals, uh, scored is at minus 222 for Köln, the, which tells you everything about uh, this team, that they are not scoring. I think that um, I, I will never play Hoffenheim over 1.5 uh, team total. Um, and yeah, I agree with you guys that this uh, game should stay under three goals. I really don't understand why the line is that it's set at three. No, and you and you tee me up perfectly there, Alex, because the big one is that um, if Kern are going to get anything out of this game, they've got to keep it massively tight and frustrate. And listen, last week, they should have been two down at half time. They got away with murder, then the red card, then the goals came bang, bang. And it's almost like, OK, that's gone. You got to, you was on the right side, but just things have gone against you. Uh, you cannot be with the away side. Hoffenheim, are so I, I think they're better than the results. They're one of, you know me, I'm always looking to diss size and giving them a whack and they're not going to. But Hoffenheim, I think, 
potentially better than they've shown us, uh, which is still they've shown us enough to be at minus 123, and I think you don't complicate. And I wouldn't put anyone off for putting them in a parlay with Verda. Money line, don't complicate it. Just go with them too. Let's have a little look at the official picks. Hoffenheim, money line, minus 123. Totally endorse it. Would have gone with it, but I've just gone, and you'll see in a second, that I've gone, uh, I've gone big with uh, Bayern. Thank you.